Hi everyone, welcome to the live training that I'm offering you guys today. And it's all about how to empower your kids in the kitchen, especially right now with summer happening. And you might be wondering, what should you be teaching your kids this summer? Or maybe you just like to give them something to do. Um, but I wanna give you some simple tips and how you can get started and also share some great tools with you as well that can really help you and them have more fun in the kitchen together. So my name is Jen Haugen and I have been with Pampered Chef as a consultant for almost three years and I love teaching you how to make your everyday cooking easier. So I hope you love this video training and should you have any questions, just um, put them in the comments. And if you're live, let me know that you're watching live and if you are watching on the replay, just type in replay because you can watch this anytime um, that it fits your schedule. So let's get started. I've got some things to share with you, some things to show you and give, give you some new ideas to help you in your kitchen this summer. So one of the greatest things that you can do with your kids as far as teaching them is obviously empowering them in the kitchen because we know that when kids learn to cook when they're younger, they are actually much more likely to make from scratch meals when they are adults, which what does that mean? They're going to be making healthier choices and eating healthier foods and probably also living a healthier life. So that is my big reason for teaching um, kids how to cook, but also it provides a really good bonding experience in the kitchen for both you and them. It also teaches lots of great skills, obviously math and reading and science, and even you can incorporate history. There's all kinds of things that you can incorporate um, along the way. It doesn't have to be like sit down, raise your hand, let's get started type of um, teaching, but it's just kind of a fun way to make these lessons really come alive and things they might have actually learned during the school year too. So. You want to have confident kids. You also want to have empowered kids. That's what I want to. I don't necessarily want to have to make breakfast for my kids every single day. They are old enough to figure that out, but you've got to give them some new ideas, recipes, and even some tools to help them make it happen so they're not just eating um, cereal and then hungry in an hour, right? <laughs> so let me first go through some stage ideas. So I want you to think in stages for your kids. And when you're thinking about that, they're kind of broken down into different age groups and what you can do with the different age groups. So if they're in the two to five year old range, you can actually get them in the kitchen to start cooking with you as young as two years old. Now, does that mean they're whipping up a meal? Maybe not, but they can do skills and things like this. They can do mixing. So if you're mixing anything in bowls, um, that's something they can definitely help with. They can also help with rinsing and cleaning up different fruits and vegetables. They can do pouring into bowls or different things like that, and also spreading. And this is also a great way to really help them with their motor skills, with their hands. So that is something that you can start with, with two to five year olds. So it's a great, great, great age to help them spread the peanut butter on the bread, for example, spread the jelly on top of the peanut butter, mix eggs together, or maybe you're making brownies and they're helping mix in that bowl, all kinds of different things that they can do. So that's the first age group that you can think about. The second age group is six to eight year olds. So they're probably, you know, maybe finishing first, second, third grade, somewhere in that range. So they can do some reading, obviously. So reading recipes, simple recipes. So getting a kid's cookbook and helping them read through a recipe is a really great skill to be teaching in this stage. Also measuring because you obviously have to measure with different recipes and that's a great skill that they can help with. Whisking and that's, you know, something that can help build that muscle strength too. And then using simple tools. So if you are putting garlic in um, a recipe that your family loves and you use the garlic press, or maybe you are squeezing a lemon and you're using the citrus press, you know, anyone can squeeze those together and kids love to do that and see it come out the other end. So that's, that, that's a great stage to do those different things. So that's the six to eight year old range. The next range is nine to 12 year olds. 
So if you have kids in this stage, you know, they're maybe getting into upper elementary, um, just eking into your middle school time as well. And so you can start working with them on planning meals. Something that I do and or actually have done because my kids aren't <laughs> in this stage anymore, but um, setting up like the little menu plan and having them do one meal a month. You can start with that. If you want to do a meal a week, you can do that too. But teaching them what makes a good meal, like making sure there's a fruit in the meal, making sure there's a vegetable in the meal. So then they can start to get to know the food groups, um, how to look at different ingredients and finding them in the kitchen, but also finding them in the grocery store and reading food labels. Um, you can also teach them how to use the stovetop. Of course, you want to be there to supervise that in this stage. Um, and also maybe some other kitchen appliances, like maybe a blender that you are supervising them doing a smoothie, for example. And then there might be some interest in the baking arena. A lot of um, kids get involved in the kitchen first with baking. That's how I got started in the kitchen. My daughter loves to bake and she started baking in this range where she just kind of looked at different recipes and we helped do them together. So this, these are all good things that you can work on in the nine to 12 year old range. Now in the last stage is 13 plus. So you've got the teenage years. So of course, all those things that I'm already talking about can be incorporated into this age group as well. But what else can you add? You can help them do more complex recipes. Um, for example, my daughter is 14 and she just did a, um, like a crusted shrimp like she breaded it herself, followed that recipe, made shrimp sandwiches. Basically, they were like shrimp poor boys. So a little bit more complex recipes as a teenager because you can follow that a little bit easier. Also, teaching them how to grill or use the grill, start the grill, cook food on the grill, all of that. Um, also, knife skills. So it's really important for kids to have knife skills and the great thing about that is you can teach them young and then they'll have really great knife skills for their life. So thinking about how to, how to cut things, how to hold a knife. So when you're holding a knife, you wanna teach them actually to put their thumb right on the blade up here. So as they're holding it, sorry, I can't hold, show you that way because my hand doesn't bend that way. But anyway, so you're holding the knife properly, how to do that which knives to use for which things. So chef's knives are good for slicing and you get that rocking motion. Santoku knives with the little divots are good for chopping um, and kind of showing them how to chop something without cutting off their fingers. Um, pairing knives for little quick slices. So you can start teaching about knives, knife skills, how to hold the knife, what foods to use with different knives. All right, another thing, planning more meals because obviously once you get to be an adult, you're going to be planning more meals. <laughs> so why not give them some more empowerment? So maybe if you were doing it once a month, maybe you're moving it to once a week where there's um, you know, kids night, teen night, whatever you wanna call it, and they have to plan the meal. And again, you're teaching them skills about how to put together a good meal. You know, It's not just going to be pizza. <laughs> they should actually cook something, right? And if it's homemade pizza, awesome. Um, and you know, then it's great to grab some new recipes maybe they wanna try, or maybe they have a favorite food that they would love to learn how to make. That's another great way to go down that avenue as well. Also, cooking with friends can be something you can introduce in this time period. As a teenager, they need a little less supervision. Obviously, it's good if you're there, if they're perhaps using the grill or <laughs> lighting flames on the grill, all of that kind of stuff. But but cooking with friends. So maybe maybe the kids want to get together and have a pizza party and they're all making their own homemade crust and doing toppings and things like that. It's really fun even as adults to do that. Maybe it's a panini bar and everybody makes their own paninis and grills them up on the grill pan, for example. Um, maybe it's a taco bar, maybe it's a burger bar, any of those things. And it's fun to do that all together. So rather than having to feel like as a parent, you have to have all this stuff ready to go, make it an actual experience where the friends come and everybody puts together their own meal and it gets cooked up and they all get to enjoy it together. So something really fun that you can do. Also experimenting with new flavors. So maybe there's some different spices that you want to have them try or maybe they're interested in a certain type of ethnic cuisine that you can bring into 
um, your weekly meals and they can be investigating and researching that and also using different tools and even new recipes. So they might, you might introduce like a new cookbook. And one thing that I did for both of my kids when they turned 13 is I got them kind of that basic Better Homes and Gardens cookbook. And what I love about that is it really teaches them basic skills. It's got basic recipes. They're well tested in the test kitchens that they have. And you know that it's a long lasting cookbook that's been around for decades. And so you can't go wrong. So kind of that coming of age, you know, whatever age they might be, um, you can introduce a nice, solid, essential cookbook that they will use for the rest of their life, most likely. I have my Better Homes and Gardens when I got it when I was like 18 or 19. So a great thing that you can do as well. All right, so that's what you can do. You can think in stages. That's the first thing you want to do. The second thing, you want to have some tools that can help. And so breakfast to lunch to dinner, I want to give you some different ideas here. Um, on how you can empower your kids in the kitchen. So the first thing I wanna share with you is these really fun tools that can really entice both young kids, two-year-olds, <laughs> all the way up to teens. And this is our new Toy Story set. So you can see Ham, the pancake flipper. Um, you've got Forky, the scraper. So getting in that bowl and mixing. Flipping, that's also a good uh, technique to be teaching, you know, when they're like six to eight years old and you're standing right by them, <laughs> or nine to 12 years old. So these are super cute and also great quality as well. And then to go with that, maybe you wanna make some breakfast pancakes perhaps. And so we have these great little molds. They come as a set of three here. And you have the, the alien and you have Woody and you have Buzz and you're gonna say, well, it doesn't really look like those, right? Well, that's because you, you just need the stencil to go on top. <laughs> so you can sprinkle different things through this. Maybe you want to make cookies with these. These are molds that are silicone and they can actually go in the oven as well as on the stove top on your, on your griddle. So all you have to do to use these is you just spray it with a little oil and I like to use my kitchen spritzer for that or otherwise just use a silicone brush, dip it in a little oil and just kind of take your brush all the way around. And you can do your pancakes on the stove top, really easy, they're really fast and they look awesome. You've probably seen me post a picture of that here. Um, and then you can sprinkle some um, powdered sugar right on top and then you have Woody for example. So what else can you do with the molds? All kinds of different things. You can do pancakes, like I mentioned. You can do cookies. You can do little quiches, even in the oven. You can do eggs on the stove top. You can do little mini pies. Literally, you can do a little pie with these. You can do jello jigglers. You can do brownies. You can do hash browns, muffin tops, even little cakes. So like I said, they go on the stove top and in the oven. So you can really have some fun no matter what age your kids are, because even my kids as teens thought these were really cool. <laughs> because, you know, all of our kids grew up with some Toy Story at some point in their life, since now there's the fourth one that just came out. So I don't know if you've seen it. Let me know if you have. I haven't seen it yet, but we plan to take our kids to that. So, um, so this is one thing that you can do for breakfast. Make it fun, make it simple and you will have great memories from the kitchen. Another thing, so if your kids are a little bit older and you want to teach them like, okay, you need to get up, you need to have breakfast, you need to have a good breakfast, not something that's just like all sugar and you're gonna be hungry in an hour. Um, one of my favorite tools for this is the breakfast sandwich maker. And why I love this is that my kids, they're teenagers, and even when they were like 11, 12, they could use this as well. So how this works, one of my favorite tools. You can use it for all kinds of different things as well. So I'm gonna talk first about the breakfast sandwich and then I'll let you know what else you can do with it. So the bottom here, it shows you, you know, crack your egg and then prick it with a fork or actually whisk it up a little bit if you like it more scrambled. So you're gonna do that at the bottom. And then you have some silicone trays here. And inside each, you're gonna put a little thing. So in here you do some cooked meats. So this could be your Canadian bacon, regular bacon, again, it's already fully cooked. You wouldn't do raw. Um, maybe some turkey sausage patties that are pre-cooked or crumbles or whatever you like to do. I also like to throw in vegetables in here. So I might do spinach or um, peppers or onions, things like that to throw in. 
And then you're going to put the top on and it's really easy, 40 seconds in the microwave, <laughs> fast. It comes, or it beeps, it do, it's done. And then this last silicone tray is where you're gonna put your English muffin. And you could also do pancakes, like the frozen pancakes if you want to. Or maybe you made a bunch of pancakes and you have some extras and so you can warm up a pancake in here. Maybe you do the little street size tacos, um, the little breakfast, or they're actually not breakfast, but they're bagel thins or little bagels, any of those things you can throw in here. You're gonna put the lid back on and then you pop it in the microwave for another 30 seconds. So you have a great breakfast in about 70 seconds from the microwave, you know that your kids are gonna get grains and hopefully they're whole grains. You know they're gonna get some protein um, and also hopefully some vegetables. If not, maybe they make up for that for the rest of the day. But this is a great way for you to give them kind of the tool that they need to make something. Now I know if I told my kids, yeah, why don't you get out a pan and do, um, do some eggs and sausage and all that kind of stuff, they're not likely going to do that. <laughs> In fact, they never have. So this actually empowers them to just do this and it's really fast and easy. So great for adults too. I use this all the time for myself too. So this is the breakfast sandwich maker. So these are two things, the Toy Story tools, the breakfast sandwich maker that can help you with breakfast with your kids. So lunch, I wanna show you some ideas for lunch. And these again are whether you help your kids do this in the lunchtime um, time zone or Maybe it's you actually have kids that are old enough that they can do this on their own. Because if you're working and they're at home, how do you know what's happening? <laughs> um, you can have them save some money. You know, maybe they want to go out to eat, but this is going to be a way that they can eat a healthier meal, less expensive, and it really doesn't take long at all. So two options for you. So this is the microwave pasta cooker. So you can see what this looks like here. We use this all the time in our kitchen and it makes one to two servings of pasta. If you have a hearty teen that likes to eat a lot, it's probably gonna just fill that person up. <laughs> but either way, it only takes eight minutes to actually cook up the pasta. So you put your pasta in here, you add your water. I always like just add enough water so it's covered by an inch of water. Put your top on and this is made from silicone so it's not gonna melt or have any issues in the microwave. You push that down and you put it in the microwave. I like to put it with the cozy because it's hot when it comes out. And you put it in the microwave for eight minutes. The great thing about this red top is that all of the water is just gonna bubble up in here. It's not gonna boil over and you don't have to worry about any of that mess in the, in the microwave because we all know what that's like, right? So you can do your all kinds of different pastas in here. Even if you wanna do um, spaghetti, just break it in half or maybe you buy the pot-sized spaghetti or those types of um, cuts that are smaller so that they, they fit right in here. And then when it's done, easy, easy, because this is also acting as a strainer. So all you have to do is you just literally tip it over like this. You're not gonna remove the red silicone lid at all. You're just going to tip it. That's why I like to have the cozy on it because I am not burning my hands as I'm holding it. The cozies I come as a set of two and they're washable. So if you get any stuff on them, you can throw them in the washer. So you have this, you pour it out. And then I have a ton of different recipes I can share with you if you want those um, for your microwave pasta maker and all kinds of things. They can make a tuna casserole. They can make spaghetti and meatballs. They could make pesto pasta. They could make macaroni and cheese. They can make pizza pasta. There's all kinds of options. Alfredo, really, all kinds of options. But this is much more empowering than if you said, hey, get out a pan, let's boil up the noodles, don't go do anything because you don't want to boil them over and then have a big mess happening on the stovetop. This is so much simpler. <laughs> One to two servings, this is great. So again, whether your kids are younger or they're older, you know, if you have younger kids and you want to make them a quick lunch, this is awesome. Um, if you have older kids and they need to empower themselves to make a hearty lunch that's good for them, this can help with that too. So that's the microwave pasta maker. To go with that, it's one of my favorite things that even if uh, you run a daycare or maybe you have um, a lot of kids that you're taking care of in the summertime or maybe you just wanna have healthy meals. <laughs> this is something that I love as well. And this goes really well with the pasta cooker because this is your salad cutting bowl. So while the pasta is 
cooking up for eight minutes. This is not going to take you eight minutes. This is going to take you about two. <laughs> but the, um, the way this one works is that it has different pieces to it. So on the bottom, this is the bowl that you'll actually be able to pour the salad into. This piece is your cutting bowl that also acts as a colander. So again, some of those skills that I already mentioned can all be utilized with this, with this tool. So you're gonna put your lettuce in here and you're also gonna put other things in here. So whatever you like to put on your salads, if you like to do lettuce, cucumbers, tomatoes, um, maybe you like to throw in some chunks of apples, maybe you want some mushrooms in there, strawberries, whatever you have, throw it in. Maybe you want grilled chicken breast that you had from last night that there's one left, throw it in. <laughs> you don't have to cut anything ahead of time, only so that it fits in the bowl, that's all you wanna do. Now then, you have this green piece. So down here, this is actually a cutting board. So it acts as a topping holder on this side and your fork and spoon and dressing holder. But on this side, it acts as a cutting board. So this is gonna sit on top. And again, you know, if you need to take your own lunch to work, this is a great thing too, because everything kind of fits right together with the lid and everything on top. So anyway, so basically, once you have your... Um, lettuce and whatever else you want in the bowl, you're just gonna turn this over and you are going to take the top off, which is really the bottom, <laughs> and you get it as a set, which comes with the knife. This is the best knife to use with it because it actually fits across the whole cutting bowl. Um, it comes with a nice cover. It's very sharp. You're gonna love it even for other things. But basically you just go through, you start in the center and you go through each individual slat all the way and then you make one turn that's it and then you go back through them so once you make one turn it's really that simple it's not even two minutes it's probably one minute <laughs> so then what you can do after that is you can actually just flip this over take off the top and then I take the bottom again and put this over the top and then I flip it and then you have your salad so this is great for having more vegetables, encouraging more of that in your, um, in your daily meals with your kids and you know encouraging them to have more vegetables in their diets as well as for all of us too. So you can do spinach, iceberg, romaine, whatever you like, maybe a combination of both. Maybe you like kale, put that in here too. So I love the salad cutting bowl because it really makes salad making easy, whether you're an adult or a kid and it really makes it so that you actually do it. You know, a lot of times that you, um, you have the salad cutting bowl or you don't have the salad cutting bowl and you think about a salad and you think about getting all those different things out and you're like, eh, that's too much. <laughs> Where this is all packaged in one thing. So you have that. That's the salad cutting bowl to help you empower your kids as well as yourself to eating more vegetables as well. Last but not least, for dinner. How can you empower your kids for dinner? So one of my favorite tools for that, you can see this is used because we use it, <laughs> is actually the kids pizza set. And you know that kids love pizza in general and it's very easy to just be like, let's just pop in a pizza from the freezer, right? But how about having a weekly pizza night where everybody makes their own pizza? tops it with their own toppings, makes homemade dough. If you don't want to buy, or if you don't want to make homemade dough, you can buy the pre-made dough. That's fine too. What's great about the pizza set is that you get this little um, cutting mat here, but it's, it's more than a cutting mat because what's great about this is this circle here that you can see, this actually is how big to roll out the dough for the, for the actual stone. And then over here, you can see it actually has a recipe to make your own crust. And it's really easy because it's flour, plain Greek yogurt, baking powder, salt, and baking soda. We almost probably all have those things in our kitchen. Did you know you could make a quick and easy uh, crust with that? So it tells you exactly all the directions. So again, this is empowering the kids, reading through that recipe, reading through the directions, rolling and making that dough, putting it on the pizza stone. This is the individual round stone that actually comes with the set. And it's the perfect size, 
probably for sharing unless they're like a 16 year old boy. Like I have a 15, almost 16 year old son and he'd eat the whole thing. But, <laughs> but this is um, not only just for pizza, you can use it for other foods as well. What else comes with it? Your own pizza cutter and of course a rolling pin. So as they're rolling, wanting to get that crust in the right direction, they can use the little rolling pin too. So that's how you can empower your kids breakfast to lunch to dinner. So I want to invite you guys to purchase any of these tools that I've mentioned. I've got three different bundles for you. And all you have to do is just message me which bundle you'd like and I'll help you get it all set up and get it ordered for you. It's super easy and you will have the tools that you can use all summer long to help empower your kids. Um, and it's actually going to be a set of things that you're going to be like, okay, we can do this and we can do it once a week or whatever it might be. So let me share what the bundles are with you. And the first bundle is getting, you know, maybe you just want to have like basic, more fun in the kitchen. Maybe your kids are a little younger, um, you know, two years old, five years old, eight years old, nine years old, anytime in that range. And you just want to kind of have some more fun in the kitchen. This can really help you do that. And this is that Toy Story set. So it comes with the two tools, it comes with the molds, and it also comes with the three um, stencils here as well. So that set is $45 and you're gonna have a ton of fun with it. And if earlier you were on the video, you heard me talk about all the different things that you can use with the molds. There's 12 different things you can use with the molds. So be sure to go back and watch that if you didn't hear that. It's not just for pancakes, but it is a lot of fun. So that's the first bundle that you can do. We'll call that bundle A, <laughs> the basic package. Um, the second bundle is if you wanna kinda up your game a little bit and you maybe have, maybe you have some combination of younger kids and older kids, or maybe you have all younger kids and you wanna just have some fun with them but also make some great lunches with them. So you can do, again, the Toy Story bundle. This is part of the bundle B. And then along with that is the um, pizza set. So you can get that as well. So you have the pizza set to go with it. You get these tools along with the Toy Story. You can have a lot of fun with these in the kitchen, no matter what age your kids are. Like I said, my kids are teenagers and they use these tools. So <laughs> don't just have to be young to do that. And with that bundle, that's gonna be $90. With that bundle, you're actually gonna get a free gift. And right now, you're gonna get a free peeler. And this is a great skill you can teach your kids too. So you can get the veggie peeler and you can have them help you peel potatoes and carrots and all kinds of different things. It's really um, the best peeler ever. The ratings are very high on that. And then the third bundle is you just want it all because you wanna make sure that your kids can do the different things in the kitchen that you want them to do. And this is going to be the, um, pizza, or the Toy Story set again. It's also going to include the pizza set. So again, includes that. But it's also going to include the salad cutting bowl set as well as the microwave pasta cooker and the cozy set as well. And that one is $177.50. And if you'd like to get that one, you also get that free gift two, which is one of the peelers. If you want to add on, you can do the breakfast sandwich maker as well. Um, and then you are about two of seven. So if you want to do any of those bundles, bundle A, bundle B, or bundle C, so the basic or the basic plus the pizza set, or the third one was the basic plus the pizza set plus the salad cutting bowl and the microwave pasta cooker and cozy set, just message me and I'll help you. Or if you wanna just put it in the comments, you can do that too, but I'm happy to help you. Just message me and I will get it all geared up for you. And you will be able to teach your kids this summer how to cook, give them some great skills. Again, if they're older, they need to know some skills before they leave the house. And these are also great tools to have if you have kids that are going to college. So I hope you, if you're just joining, jump back and watch the full video. You'll get some great ideas on how you can um, have some different tasks in, the, tasks in the kitchen that your kids can help with, what they should be doing at different ages, and then how you can use these tools to really help you um, and them in the kitchen have more fun, learn how to cook, boost their confidence, help them eat healthier, 
for the long term. So again, thank you guys for watching. If you guys have questions, let me know in the comments, but message me the bundle that you'd like and I'll help you get it all set up for you. Thank you guys. Have a great rest of your day.